This is your USF Dons baseball weekend review from the week of from Friday, February 16th through Saturday the 17th. Recap 2018 the Dons play opening their first initial 2018 campaign season on the road against the the University of Texas San Antonio from Conference USA. Friday night the Dons opened up the 2018 campaign with a bang scoring 11 runs as both um, Tyler Villaroman and um, Allen both went a combined two for five and driving into Don's six of the 11 runs wing 11 and four the next as Don's fr- and also Don's freshman Jack Whitaker and Nick Yokovich both collected their first collegiate hits including um, Brett Winkler's RBI single and Nick Yostovich first collegiate solo home run. Thomas Ponticelli pitched five innings, giving up two earned runs in his five frames of work. And R.J. Cordero went two for two with a double and a run scored. And then on su- on Saturday, the, the doubleheader, the Dons dropped an 11-1 decision to the uh, to the Road Runners. And then on Sunday, the Dons had a 4 nothing read in the first inning, but they were only able to score only once in the front, throughout the remainder of the game. The Roadrunners ended up scoring 13 unanswered runs in four of the next six innings. From And Ross Puskarich in the contest went two for four. So let's uh, recap that series down in San Antonio. Your thoughts? Yeah, you know, obviously first we... Game one, uh, pitched well by Ponticelli, played solid defense, um, got enough hits uh, at the top of the order. They walked us a little bit, and we capitalized on some mistakes. But, uh, you know, to come up with an 11, 11, whatever, 11-3 victory. 11-4. Uh, 11-4 victory. Game one was, was a solid performance for our guys. Um, you know, Saturday... Oh boy, they came out and they hit. They, they hit a two-run home run early. They banged Barasa around. He just he wasn't capable of keeping the ball out of the middle of the plate. They just came out like the like the the the, 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 the cat the cavalry came out of the gate, huh? Yeah, they did pretty well. You know, they they pitched well. They <coughs> they played aggressive, and we rebounded in game three to score four in the first inning, only to give it back in the first inning to make it a four-four game. So anytime you score four early and you give four back, you're destined not to do very well unless you can you can hit, and we didn't hit. But, yep. uh, you know, altogether, I think when you look at it, our pitching was was way below average. We had two guys pitch on Friday that were good. We had two guys pitch on Saturday that were pretty good, and, and one guy pitched late on Saturday that was pretty good. And outside of that, we we had three or four guys that got beat around pretty bad, and you know, we were worried offensively about them going into it. They were a very offensive team. They got some confidence. Um, we didn't make pitches, and uh, obviously we, we let them back in the game. So, uh, uh, we're, you know, we're going to have to get better. We're going to have to pitch better. We, we keep losing two out of three uh, for quite some time now where it, that's not going to get it done if you want to want to be good. But, you know, it's not easy to win. You know, when you look across the country, um, you know, Mississippi State got swept. LSU lost two out of three at home against Notre Dame. Fullerton lost all three yep. against Stanford. Stanford. I mean, it's revenge uh, factor from last year's regional, and you know, but like they say, it's early, so you know, it's you know, early. Long Beach it's, State it's, lost well. two out of three at home against St. Mary's. So when you look at that, Ooh. you know, it's not uh, it's not easy to win. That's a st- um, you got you got to play well on the road if 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 you want to win and and we didn't do that. It took a series down there in uh, down in Long Beach, right? Yeah. Wow, that's a good way to start out of the gate out the top for the for the Gales. But you know, it's early, it's a lot of games up to play, so we can't just look at the one series. You know, so um, it's time to get it right. So that as we uh, close the chapter on the Texas um, Santos with the Roadrunners from Conference SGA. We're going to be playing three teams this week, two teams this weekend. Friday night, a bus trip up to SAC to take on the SAC State Hornets from the WAC. And then San Jose State uh, for the home opener at early uh, breakfast at baseball 
uh, on the Saturday, and then the second game will be at 2 p.m. Pacific um, against Sacramento State, and then on Sunday they wrap it up against San Jose State on Sunday at 2 o'clock. The guy at 3 o'clock. Go, go ahead. Yeah, those games have all, both been scheduled to 2. 10.30 and 2. 10.30 and 2. Okay, okay, okay. So your thoughts with the upcoming two teams coming up? Well, you know, Sac State, they, they beat Washington 2 out of 4 at home. Um, you know, San Jose State 2 out of 4 against Northern Colorado at home. Um, you know, San Jose State got beat last night by Santa Clara 4 to 1. And then uh, uh, I'm not sure if Sacramento State played last night, but uh, Sac State, you know, they've been a regional team two out of the last three years. They've been playing good. Every you know, young kid come out of there named Reese Hoskins who could rake. He uh, birthed the Giants last summer when he's with the Phillies. He had a young superstar franchise player on the rise for the Phillies who we saw at Sac State um, kind of uh, quite some time, not so long ago. Yeah, and he, he did a good job against us. Uh, when we did see him, we were like, wow, this kid, uh, he lit us up. So hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully we pitch well with Ponticelli on Friday and uh, we get on track a little bit offensively. Um, it's going to be a great game down there on Friday night. And then uh, got to come back on Saturday and, and hopefully we, uh, you know, we can, we can pitch well enough to, to, to be in the ball game against San Jose State early on Saturday. And then who knows when we turn back around for game two. But. I think right now, B, we got to take them a game at a time. We got to try to win a series, and uh, you know we got a chance to hopefully win a series against <coughs> both teams this weekend with the four game set. So hopefully we can do that. All right, Coach, thanks for being on. Yeah, thanks. B. All right, that's near Giratino. This is uh, the Dons. Uh, Dons will be back in action to take on the Sacramento State Hornets. They'll be uh, this Friday night at 6 p.m. We'll have the, the radio game on the Arena Sports Net Bay Area at 6 p.m. Then they're back on the Hilltop Saturday, 10.30 against San Jose State, and 2 p.m. Pacific against Sac State. Both of those games will be streaming live on usfdons.com. And then on Sunday, the final game, San Jose State, 2 p.m. on usfdons.com, streaming video live for those three home games. And Don's fans, you can check out the 2018 Don's at the newly renovated Dante Benedetti Diamond. Come on, check us out at the ballpark. Come and uh, check us out for ticket information. Group sales, so much more. Contact the Don's at 41 box office at 415-422-2USF. That's 415-422-2USF. Or visit the Don's website or the email USF Don's tickets at usfca.edu or the Don's website for more information, usfdons.com slash the baseball or click on the baseball page. This has been the USF Don's Weekend Review and Preview. I'm Brian Professor Reed Davis for Don's TV.